People were screaming. It, it was it was like a horror film. It was awful. Ashley Packard still visibly shaken up after escaping yesterday's deadly circus tent collapse. She had just sat down inside with her husband and two young kids when the fast moving storm moved through. It lifted up and the sides started like burst, bursting open um, and shaking. It was just. It was scary. The next thing she knew, she was running as fast as she could, holding hands with her five year old daughter, her husband holding their two year old son in his arms. There was so much screaming and so many people running that you, you didn't want to fall because you felt like you were going to be kind of trampled. The scariest moment of her life, she says. And now questions remain about why circus organizers didn't heed the severe weather warning, which the National Weather Service says was issued more than 15 minutes before the storm hit. Uh, it's really the responsibility of the uh, show to monitor the conditions. And uh, we don't know why they. They were going on at that time and what they knew. Yesterday, Walker Brothers International, the Florida based company in charge of the circus, was staying quiet and seeking counsel. Today, the state fire marshal's office says they're cooperating. That, that cooperation level has improved greatly, uh, and uh, we're getting good information from them as we speak. Each one of them is being interviewed in detail. Because of the lack of permitting and inspections, the state fire marshal's office here will be exploring the possibility of charges and or fines. Now, as for the 32 people that were injured and taken to local hospitals last night, the state fire marshal's office is not expanding much more on the extent of their injuries, although he did say some are critical. We're live in Lancaster tonight. I'm Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.